Hello, welcome to Coding Box Automation Lab. This is Sherfu. This is a brand new tutorials where we're going to learn API testing with Cypress. It's a very interesting and very powerful features of Cypress that nowadays you can do REST API testing with Cypress. Let's go. So first we're going to see what is an API. So API stands for Application Programming Interface, which is a software intermediary that allows two applications to talk to each other. Each time you use an app like Facebook, send an instant message or check the weather on your phone, you are using API. So API enables communication and data actions between two separate software systems. API is not the database or not even server. It is the code that governs the access points for the server. Let's have a very real world, simple example. Say you're ordering your food at a restaurant. So you are the customer and here is the waiter who takes your order. And here is the kitchen who, you know, prepare your, your order. So when customer give the order to waiter, waiter takes the order to the kitchen and the kitchen prepare or makes your order and the waiter, you know, they, they serve your order to the customer table. If we compare this simple example to our programming world in regards API. So here is a client, it's your front end, you know, where the front-end application makes a request, makes a call to API, whatever it's required. And API takes your request to the database and database responds as per the request and API, you know, return that response to the client machine. So API is now it's work, you know, working as a waiter over here. And it's just an intermediate uh, a piece of software or code, you can say, which really takes your request and get back the response from the database. So that's the very simple example you can say in regards to API or how API works. Now let's see an example, API testing in Cypress. Here you can see, so what is API testing, you know, first of all, before we go before we go to Cypress uh, testing, you know, so what is an API testing? So API testing is to verify your backend response instead of user front-end issue. It means instead of entering standard input output in front-end, you use software to send call to API endpoint and API makes the request and we verify the response as well as request too. So Cypress comes to the picture when it needs to verify the request, the API request and also the response. Okay. So the, the purpose of API testing is to check the functionality, reliability, performance, and the security of the programming interface. Now let's see very simple. API testing code, uh, with the Cypress example. So if you're familiar with the Cypress, if you're not, you know, familiar with the Cypress, never did a Cypress, please check my, all my videos in regards, you know, the, the, the Cypress for the beginner, then you will understand the Cypress functionality, a different functionality, the framework, you know, uh, uh different methods that he used. So if you're familiar, you will easily understand over here, there is a describe block and a plot. And if there is a Cypress, it has a, a number of map ports for API testing. One of the method is called request. So side dot request where you will have a different, you can have a different parameter or one single parameter. So one parameter, it's like you, this is that in point, right? This is that API in point. So you pass the in point over here. This is your hit point where the request will happen. And then the response part, it has a response part after the request has happened. So header is one of the response part. Uh, and in the header, 
there is a number of parameters could have. One is content type, could have a response, could have body. You know, so there is a number of uh, uh, parameters you, you could have in your header as a response. So exa here example, it's, it's only that we're considering inside the header of a response. One parameter, simple parameter, content type. Where content type should have a, the response, which is application slash JSON. So that's why we use the should method over here, where include the response would be. So in content type, should response application slash JSON. So if this is a match, you know, you will, your test case will be passed. So in our upcoming lecture, we'll see how we can, how we can uh, do API test for status. Like if it's a successful status, it's supposed to match 200. If it's, you know, fail, like page cannot, uh, you know, display, which is 404, you know, it should match that. And also there is a interesting, very powerful features in Cypress where you can mock even your network response. This is, you know, this is something that not even big application, big API testing application like uh, Postman or Insomnia, they can do it. Even manually, you can mock your response, right? So in, in Cypress, it is possible. So in our upcoming uh, lectures, we'll see how to do those, those scenarios, you know, mocking your network response. So that's all for today. Thanks a lot. Please stay tuned and watch the next, rest of the uh, lectures. And if you like this uh, tutorial video, please feel free to share with others. Have a good one.